Good morning, everyone. It's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff at SDR Play. Quick video, I'd like to show you guys the brand new plugin that we will be releasing with SDR Uno version 1.40.2, and that is the MPX Output Plugin. Uh, the MPX Output Plugin is really for interfacing with RDS Spy. Now, RDS Spy is a powerful free third party FM broadcast RDS decoder. The SDR Uno MPX Output Plugin interfaces with RDS Spy by taking the SP2 aux sp iq stream and it adds its own fm discriminator that is sent using a virtual audio cable pair this virtual audio connection provides the mpx output needed by rds spy for fm broadcast rds decoding and you might be saying well what is rds well rds is radio data system it is a communication protocol standard for embedding small amounts of digital information in conventional fm broadcast so let's go ahead and get this set up real quick and I'd like to demonstrate it for you. Within SDR Uno, go into your settings, go into your output, and select your primary sound card, the same sound card that produces audio on your computer when you're listening to a station. Next click the plug-in button within the main panel and make sure the plug-in panel is, is open. Select the MPX output and select load plug-in. Now I'm going to have to make a little bit of room here, just where I can slide this panel over. Within the MPX output plugin panel, you're going to need to set your virtual audio cable. You need to use a pair, and you can use VB Cable Hi-Fi or VAC. I do have additional videos showing you how to set these virtual audio cables up. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use VB Cable Hi-Fi and the cable needs to be set for 192,000 input and output whether you're using VB Cable Hi-Fi or VAC. I'll show you that really quick. Let me just pull up my control panel here. I'll go into my sound. I will go into my playback tab, Hi-Fi Cable Input, go to Advanced and it's set to 192,000 and we're going to do the same thing for the recording tab and that's set. If you're using VAC you would pull up the VAC control panel let me see if I can pull that up and show you and you would set 190, uh, 192,000 in both fields for the input and the output. Okay, the plugin is loaded. Let's click play. I have to mute it because we will have uh, copyright issues. Okay, select the virtual audio cable that you'll be using. And in this case, I'll be using VB Cable Hi Fi. I'm going to enable the output. And now I'm going to launch uh, RDS Spy. And in RDS Spy, let's just stop this. You're going to go to Configure, select RDS Source, click on the Sound Card tab, select the virtual audio cable that you're using, and you have to click Direct RDS slash MPX 192 kilohertz, and click OK. Now as I navigate up and down the FM broadcast band, it's going to be decoding RDS information, the PI code, there's a lot of stuff that this RDS by application does. Uh, the Help ma uh, the manual or the, the guide is under help. Just click help and click RDS Spy. And there's a comprehensive manual here with explanations for all the options. But let's just let's just go up and down the band really quick and see what we pick up. Now if I go to view, basic RDS services, that will give me more information. And let's see. Okay, it decoded that, and it decodes very, very quickly. Not all stations transmit an RDS, uh, transmit RDS information. The easiest way to tell if a station is transmitting uh, RDS is look within the RX control panel and you'll see an RDS label either 
completely solid, uh, solidly lit or flashing. And as you can see here, it's flashing, but it's still going to get a, a Pi code here. And then what you can do, depending on the region that you're in, you can go online and look up this Pi code and it will tell you exactly where this station is transmitting from. This tool is, is for the FM broadcast DXers. Uh, they swear by RDS Spy, and this is a really, really good app. And as you can see here, it's decoding everything just fine. Let's see if we can get a few more. Okay, now let's just test this really quick with uh, VAC because we use BB Cable Hi-Fi. So let me close RDS Spy, disable the output. We'll stop SDR Uno. We will close this. Let's reload the plugin. And let's select VAC. Click play. Click enable. Go to RDS Spy. And we're going to have to change the input here. And as you can see, it's decoding just fine. All right, guys, if you guys have any questions or comments regarding RDS Spy, the MPX output plugin, please leave them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video, 73.